friends and family are gathering in Sage Park to remember the life of a McGill Tulin Catholic School freshman shot on Easter Sunday at the Grand Hall in Mobile. 15 year old Anissa Baker died on Wednesday from her injuries. News 5's Mary Smith joins us now live from the vigil. And Mary, you also spoke exclusively with the family today. Roseanne and Devin, that's right. I spoke with her older sister and her godmother exclusively today. They do tell me that she has a great sense of humor, gave incredible hugs, and most importantly, they say they believe she is at peace. It's like a dream. It just doesn't seem real that she's not here. Jasper Walker didn't think she'd have to say goodbye this soon. I don't know. I couldn't ask for a better sister, a better person, even though it does hurt. Her younger sister, 15-year-old Anissa Baker, passed away this week. The McGill Tolan freshman was shot on Easter Sunday at a teen concert at the Grand Hall. We, we knew it was severe, but we all were hopeful, very hopeful, and um, we knew she was strong. She was in critical condition for over a week till she passed away on Wednesday. She was a fighter, literally. She was. She, she fought her hardest through this. As her family prepares for her funeral this Tuesday, they think of the good times, saying there were many with Anissa. Her hugs is what I'm going to miss. Her hugs was a hug that she would hug you every day as if she hadn't seen you in years. That hug, she would just grab you and just felt the love from that hug. No matter what was going on, Anissa always had a smile on her face. While police haven't announced any arrests, the family has a message for who took her life too soon. I mean, it's just, it's senseless. It's crazy to know that my sister had to fight for her life because, because you're stupid. You, you made, you made a dumb choice, but justice will be served for my sister. She is at peace. I do believe that. And as you guys can see, the crowd is growing here at Sage Park. Uh, the organizer of the event, a friend who has been friends with Anissa for years and also goes to the same high school as her, we just spoke to her and they said that this is also to um, honor other victims of gun violence and hopefully put an end to gun violence, which ultimately took Anissa Baker's life. We'll have more on this candlelit vigil for Anissa on News 5 at 630. But for now, reporting live in Mobile, Mary Smith, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on.